What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna hike up a stream. We're gonna find some crawfish and do a crawfish boil. These little crawfish live in this stream and like you can see them swimming and moving. There's three right here. These guys are uh, invasive. I forget when they were introduced and why. I should probably look that up, but if any of you guys know, leave a comment and let me know why they were introduced. These guys are all over only certain streams. And if they're these crawfish, crawdads, whatever you call them, inside of it. Um, there's not gonna be the big Tahitian prawns. Those are also introduced in the 50s, but I guess they're just not as nuts as these little red ones. These red ones just take over every spot they go to. So we're gonna do our part today and, and cull, cull some of their population. log has given me like one pound of mushrooms in the last year so I always like to double check this as I'm coming back here because you never know what's going to be on it. So this is our little spot today. This is going to be our kitchen and what a kitchen it is. Look at this. I got it. There we go. Ah. <laughs> it's a little bro. So we're gonna use him. I need to get like two or three more of these. Sorry, there we go. Boom, so we grab our little guy. Let's kind of crush him up a little bit more. All that guts and stuff, they want, that's what they want. They like to eat their own, I guess. These are real, real savage creatures. So we're gonna use this one. Hopefully capture like two or three. This might attract all the ones in the pond. I think it's gonna attract like two or three. I'm gonna crush those ones up and then that should, that should bring the whole pond up. We'll throw a little corn in there too and see if that, uh, that helps. So it's like corn and a dead crawfish. <laughs> Let's see what we got. I forgot the turkey, so. There's some heliconias right here. These are nice. Okay, so I got my um, trap on the stick. We're gonna go through this guy. Okay, so right now we're starting our fire. We got our crawfish trap in. I forgot the bait. So we had to use a, we had to use one crawfish I caught by hand. And then we got a couple minnows with that crawfish. And so I killed the minnows and now we're gonna get more crawfish with the dead minnows. And hopefully we're gonna go check that thing out. It's nothing's guaranteed, but hopefully we can get a couple crawfish out of there. So the situation got a little bleak because like I said, if I had that turkey or the hot dog, that shit, those um those crawfish would go nuts they go nuts for that but um since we don't have that and i gotta rely on just what nature has to offer i'm using minnow which should in essence be the same thing because it's like dead meat that's what these crawfish live off of but in a survival situation you want to like just be able to adapt like i could have been bummed and been like oh i'm gonna i'm just gonna go home i forgot the bait you know like but i was like fuck that there's little fish in the pond you just gotta adapt Overcome it, you know? Don't sit there and be a little baby. That's how you die. Improvise. Improvi improvisation. Got our fire working, the cave wood. We got our water on top. We just use a little stream water, but since we're boiling it, it'll be nice and safe. I made sure to grab some with no sediment 
so it'll be a clean, clean boil. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab some of the garlic. It can keep the husk on, it doesn't really matter because this is just to flavor the water for the, for the boil. So we're gonna throw some garlic clove in. This is just a bath. Let's think of this as like a hot tub bath for the, the corn, the potatoes, and our crawfish. So we're gonna throw these onions inside too. So you just kind of like, you can just rough cut them in. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a nice Maui sweet onion. These things are amazing. You see the water starting to boil a little bit. Then we're gonna grab, uh, right here I got some bay leaf. So I'm going off like a basic Louisiana style crab boil. So we do bay leaf, garlic, onions, and then I got some seasonings that we're gonna throw in here. And we got a corn. So throw our corn in. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to crowd the pan, so I'm just going to eat this corn raw. So like, I, I want to make room for the crawfish. This is a North Shore Kahuku sweet corn. So good. So I'm throwing some red potato. Awesome. We're going to throw in a lemon inside. So you just want to do like chunky style. We just want that citrus flavor. It's going to help um, with the crawfish when we boil them. So we don't want to fully boil this into mush. We want to boil it till it's par cooked. We're gonna go ahead and season it now with our two seasonings that I got. One I made at home. This is like a special blend of paprika, uh, garlic salt, coriander, some Israeli pepper plant that I have. It's like a cayenne pepper from Israel that I bought when I was there. So we're gonna throw this in. You wanna take a look at that? So that's our blend, coriander, smoked paprika, cayenne chili, garlic salt. And we're just gonna kind of throw that in here. We're gonna throw in some Old Bay. These are so smoky. Old Bay's got a little bit of salt too, so I don't wanna go too much with it, but that should be enough right there. And we're just gonna go check. This is kind of nerve wracking because I got everything set up. I took all the time out of my day to come film today. And I really want to get some crawfish to eat and to show you guys just how much there is back here. Okay, so we got, we got three, which is, that's a success. I'll take that, you know. I could take that whole pond out and I have before. I've taken like 50, 60 of them at a time but I'm not really too hungry today, so I think we'll just do two. I'll, I got all those potatoes and corn anyways. I'm kind of trying to be a vegetarian right now, so. So we got two lucky fellas today. Three. Three of them, actually. Look at this guy, he's angry. So this guy, he's uh, nice and muddy, nice and angry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw him in here and I'm gonna um, kinda like, just let it sit out for a little bit. This guy doesn't wanna go. Look, he's, he's all, these little, little river lobsters. Wow, these things are strong. Look, he's holding on for dear life. And we got this sad guy. I almost wanna let this guy go. He's so fucking sad. We got this little guy. Well, juvenile. Oh. So yeah, we're gonna let them sit in there for a little bit. It's gonna purge them. They're gonna like, uh, kind of like, just clean themselves out, and then we're gonna eat them. Okay, so I'm gonna you first, buddy. So yeah, this is our good sized one. So this is like a nice adult size one. So yeah, so I'm stoked we got two of these guys and I'm not really the biggest crawfish fan. I just wanna show you guys how we do it. I'm more of a corn guy myself. So 
We're gonna put him in the forever bath and he's gonna go to sleep. It's gonna be nighttime. You ready? Okay. And he's dead instantly, basically. Like he's gonna be, yeah. And now we're gonna throw his little buddy in. I'm gonna do is throw them head first in so it shocks the brain and then they're basically instantly dead after that. And this is a quick way of doing it. Plus these things are invasive, like I was saying. They're not supposed to be in the stream. They, um, they, they compete with the Hawaiian shrimp that are like these small clear ones and it, uh, they completely destroy them because they got these big pinchers and they're way more aggressive, so. There you go. Okay, so we got one, two, three, three of these little little river river crawdads. I'll let these guys sit in the bath for a little bit, and then they'll be ready, and we'll enjoy our seafood boil. We got our crawfish almost done. The potatoes and corn should be good. We're gonna strain it, and then we're gonna make a chili garlic butter to go with it. Strain this. Try not to burn the crap out of myself, which I already think I can already feel it happening. Cause I only got a leaf to use as my. There we go. Okay, so I got some butter right here. I don't really like butter that much. I'm a chef. I know it's crazy. Wow, imagine that a chef who doesn't like butter. But in this instance. Every recipe I saw had it, so I'm not gonna, not gonna be that different. Throw in some butter. I'm gonna like really rough chop this garlic. Get this little onion husk out. The smell is already an insane. And what we're gonna do is I got a little bit of, so I got a little chili paste right here. I'm gonna put a little bit of this chili paste in. And then I got that same dry, the same paprika dry rub with the cayenne pepper, garlic salt. We're gonna just kind of get that in there. And we're just gonna work it all together. Look at that, it's gonna turn nice and red. That smells crazy. And it's actually got like a little bit of the Kiave wood flavor too, because it's like getting smoked right now. Just want to get all that stuff incorporated. I'm going to grab our mix, and I'm just going to start kind of cherry picking some potato, little gar little claw, <laughs> some corn. I'm not going to use the onion and the garlic, because that stuff is, uh, you can save that for like a stew or something like that. Throwing one of our little guys right here. Look at how red he cut, he turned. See that red color? That's because he's uh, fully cooked now. When they when they cook all the way, they turn red like that. See that? Perfect crawdad. Perfectly cooked. Straight into the the garlic bath. Look at that. Look at these two guys, the stars of our show today. Look at that garlic butter on there. Nice. That right there is a jungle crawfish boil with a wild forage crawfish and just a lot of hard work, so. Let's go ahead and enjoy this real quick. I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna show you how to eat these actually. There's, I was watching some Louisiana like uh, crawfish tutorials on how to do this. So you, you, you pop this sucker out, the tail. It's kind of like a little mini lobster. And then you wanna just suck the head. Holy crap, that's so good. And it's got all that, the butter and the, the spices. That is like crazy good. Well, you suck the head, give that to the other crawfish, and then 
kind of like crack the sides of this thing, crack it open. And then look, I'm gonna pull it out like a perfect little lobster tail. It's the same color as lobster too. Look at that. Ready? I'm gonna pull the tail out. Boom. So that's about all the meat you get out of one crawfish. But it's definitely worth it. This stuff is really sweet. I'm gonna get it in a little bit of this butter off the leaf. And that leaf leaf butter. Oh, dude, that's so good. I mean it's just the butter, but this thing is crazy sweet, really mild. It's like a little forest lobster, jungle lobster, Hawaiian jungle lobster. That's what I'm going to call this one. Here, okay. here, Amber. How do you do try, this? So you're going to crack it open in half. Okay, here I go. No, from the tail part. From the tail. Yeah, just pull the tail, crack Off. it si sideways. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Now squeeze the head and suck it out at the same time. How good is that? That is amazing. Isn't that crazy? That is so good. That's, um, that's a jungle lobster right there. Oh, that one you squeeze it and then peel it. This one? The tail. I feel like I still have some in the head. Yeah, stuck. Yeah, I get all that. It's like. It's messy. Mm hmm. Well, that's why they got a river right here. We're going to wash our hands in the river after. Thanks for watching, guys. And make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And stay tuned for next week when we do a whole different type of video. Mm.